doesn't make sense now Shit just got real, things are getting intense now I hear you talking about we a lot, oh you speak French now Giving me the sign so I gotta take a hint now I hit you up like hey you everybody, wanna welcome hang back to my right channel, Kia Alexis, I know It's been a long time but I'm back forever, Tuesday, yes! Thank you for subscribing to me, I really appreciate it I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming up Some really, really good ones so stay tuned And yeah, I did get a new camera so I'm excited about that so I'm gonna be doing more videos so today's look is a summer date look inspired by this beautiful dress that i'm wearing it's from giddy online it's affordable pricey i just said affordable it's affordable trendy clothing website if you want to see how i got the summer date look stay tuned okay so the first thing i'm going to do is my eyebrows i'm using the nyx eyebrow gel in the color espresso and i love this because it doesn't dry out like a lot of other eyebrow pomades and I'm just gonna do my eyebrows like I usually do and I'm gonna clean it up with my favorite concealer for my eyebrows which is my MAC Studio Concealer in the color NC35 Once I'm done blending out all of that concealer, I'm going to moisturize my dry face. And you can really see what a difference moisturization does. And now time for my eyeshadow. I already primed my eyes. I'm taking my Modern Renaissance palette, which I am in love with. And I'm taking these two colors for my transition. Now this is definitely an oldie but a goodie. This is my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Milk Base. And I love this because it, it just helps with any color to brighten it up as a really great base. Now onto the color, I'm gonna be taking my BH Cosmetics Eyes on the 60s palette, which has some really great colors, and I'm gonna be taking this really pretty pastel pink and just packing it along. I noticed I didn't get the pigmentation I really desired, so I kinda sprayed with some Fix Plus, which is a little trick. And also I added a pastel purple. Now I'm gonna be taking one of my favorite palettes, my Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'm gonna be taking this purple color called Urban, and then I'm gonna also blend in this color called Fringe, which is a really beautiful blue color, and just blend it all together so I can have that extra dimension. Now for the glitter, I did use my Max Mixing Medium Liner as a base for my glitter, and then I applied this pretty pink glitter. Unfortunately, I do not know where it's from because I borrowed it from my sister. She told me it was cosmetic glitter that was safe, from, safe for the eyes from AliExpress, but if I could find a link, I'll definitely post it. And now I'm just going to add some more of that purple color just to extra, extra define my eyes. And now I'm going to go on to my eyeliner because it's really going to help me with the look if I just wing it out. You'll see. Now we're gonna do our face. You have to prime your face when it's these hot summer days. And I'm gonna be taking this beautiful new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the color Caramel Beige 209. And first I'm gonna apply it with a flat foundation brush, but then I forgot to color correct. So I'm gonna do that right now with my LA Pro Conceal in the color orange. And I'm gonna blend it all with an orange Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, blending sponge. And then I'm just gonna blend out the entire foundation with my beauty blender and I have the black color but then I realized I need just a little bit more coverage so I just apply just a little bit more I really 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 love this foundation now onto concealer which is my favorite part unfortunately some of these clips did get cut out I didn't know the camera stopped recording, but I am using my NC42 MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. Now for some color on my cheeks, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Sweetheart Blush. I got it during one of those Ulta sales, so I got it for like half price. And I'm going to also contour and bronze up my face. I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer as well as this Black Radiance Bronzer in the color Mocha. And yeah, 
Now I'm gonna add my favorite, my highlight. Highlight them cheeks and everything, including your nose and your upper lip. And I'm taking Champagne Pop, which is so beautiful. I just want you to know. Now going back with our Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in color Milk, I am going to be using that for my waterline and under my eye so I can use it for a base for the colors. I'm also going to be taking Urban and Fringe from before, the same colors that are in my crease, and just smudging it out under my waterline. Okay, for my lips, I'm going to start off with a brown lip liner from NYX Cosmetics, then add Velvet Teddy by MAC, and then I'm going to top it off with this beautiful Snob Lip Glass. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. Until no next time, bye guys. You need to come over, bad man, we don't watch that.